Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm one of the owners of the Bedford Village Flower Shop, and today we are doing a uh, rosé-inspired arrangement. Cheers to everyone. Um, this uh, arrangement is called Rosé Bubbles, and um, it was indeed inspired by rosé, sparkling rosé, um, and we wanted to bring in some of those really romantic hot pinks and lush tones to really kind of bring out the love everyone has for flowers. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start. We like to do a chicken wire base sustainable product um, and I'm going to put that into my vase so I'm going to take my roll of chicken wire and my tin snips that were so generously loaned to me by Miss Patricia and I'm just going to go across and cut my chicken wire all right and then basically I'm just going to gather my chicken wire together um, it's really helpful to kind of have layers of chicken wire in your vase because when you put a stem in it has a place to go. You're not just putting it into an empty spot. So that is my chicken wire base. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with a little bit of flower preservative, just a squirt of flower preservative and some room temperature water. I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and filled up my vase with my room temperature water and a squirt of my flower preservative. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my greenery. Greenery, you've probably heard me say a million times, greenery is fabulous. It really helps create a base for your arrangement. It helps um, dictate kind of the shape that you're gonna go into. Um, hydro mechanics, that's another big reason why people use greenery is um, if you were ever to be judged in a flower show, if your mechanics show, um, it takes points off. So it's really good to use a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my lemon leaf. This arrangement has uh, an asymmetrical feel to it. So I'm gonna use the lemon leaf to create that asymmetrical base um, that I'm then gonna filter my flowers into. The other thing that greenery does really well um, is that it helps establish, the chicken wire um, creates a grid and the greenery helps to further that grid, establish that, that really like solid base to put your flowers into. Um, so as you can see, I'm a little bit higher on this side than I'm on this side, and that's the way I want my arrangement to be. I want it to be a little bit more asymmetrical. All right, the next thing I'm gonna start with is um, my line flower. And in, in, this, in this situation, I am using snapdragons as my line flower. These are great pink snapdragons. They just have so much character. Fun fact about snapdragons, they are phototropic. So um, what that means is that the actual flower itself will follow the light. So for instance, this one has a bend this way. If the light source is over here over um, a certain amount of time, this bend will actually correct itself and it will go towards the light. So it's, um, it's important when you're arranging flowers to kind of keep that in mind, especially if you're doing things, you know, for a specific look and you don't want that look to change. Um, it's good to put it into a dark place so it doesn't change um, and then kind of continue on. So another line flower that I'm using um, is stock. So I'm sorry, I may not have mentioned, but um, snapdragons are a line flower, and they're really helping to create the dramatic line that this uh, arrangement is going to have. But another one that I like using is stock, and this is our apple blossom stock. Um, and I'm going to bring this in to really basically exaggerate what the snapdragons are doing. <laughs> So to really further the, um, the asymmetry of this arrangement, I want to bring in this beautiful kangaroo paw. Kangaroo paw is just, it's such a cool, such a cool flower. It feels like velvet. It's just got a lot of character to it. Um, again, it has that line look, so it's really good to use um, in a situation like this. And I really want these to be a little bit elevated above the rest of the flowers to really drive home that point that we're going this way. Um, and it's also nice because it adds a lot of movement into the arrangement.
All right, from this point, I'm gonna bring in um, our rose. This rose is called a Pink Floyd Rose. It is, um, it's a beautiful rose. It's also, we were talking about the snapdragons as being line flowers. The stock is a line flower. A rose like this is a face flower. So um, it really kind of plays center stage in the arrangement as that's the face of the arrangement that you're gonna see. So um, it's good to go heavy on something like this and then have some other things play off of it. Um, I love the color of this rose. It's just so, it's so deep, it's so rich. It's like having that really great box of chocolates. Um, if there's shipping petals, I like to take the shipping petals off. Shipping petals are otherwise known as guard petals. They're the outside petals um, that inevitably get damaged in shipping, um, which is okay uh, because you want the rest of the rose to be beautiful once you actually start working with it. So we actually keep our shipping petals on until the last minute so that there is no additional bruising or damage um, that's done to the flower itself. Um, I love this arrangement because it has so many flowers. It's really, really lush. It's really full of flowers. It's, to me, that is so romantic. There's nothing like having just as many flowers as you can fit into a box. <laughs> um, so we brought that in here. Um, to add a little bit more of that like lush body to the arrangement, I'm going to bring in this hyacinth. Um, this arrangement is full of fun facts. So hyacinth, even though it's cut from its plant, from its bulb, hyacinth is a bulb, um, no root source, nothing, it will still grow within water. So you can always cut your hyacinth, insert them into your arrangement, and as they start to grow, just pluck them out, give them a fresh cut, and put them back into your arrangement. Arrangements do not, um, do not necessarily need sun to live. Um, like we were just talking about with the hyacinth, it's a flower that's been cut from its root source. It's done, it's growing already. So um, they actually will last a little bit longer when they're out of the sun. So, um, you know, it's great. Like if you put your flowers on a kitchen island, that's away from the windows. It's away from the direct sunlight um, in most kitchens. Um, so that's a really good place to have your arrangement so that it lasts a little bit longer. Hyacinths are also um, highly fragrant. So between the roses and the hyacinth and the stock, this arrangement is just going to fill a room with fragrance. I really wanted to, um, I love the richness, like I was saying, of this pink rose. So I really wanted to bring in a ranunculus to carry that richness through the arrangement. So I have this gorgeous pink ranunculus. You can see that. It just has so much, like the way the neck is bent and the flower is out, it has so much movement to it. It's just such a fun, fun flower. And then to bring our colors full circle, I have this really beautiful spray rose that I wanted to bring in. I love spray roses because little flower, big presence. So it's nice to bring another big presence into this arrangement to really show how wonderful a lush full of flowers arrangement can be. Um, and the color combination, it has like a, uh, a brightness to it that really ties everything in together. This type of arrangement, I could see in my house, I would put it on my front entry table. I think it would be just such a stunning way to come home every day to see this. It's just so bright and fun and lush and romantic. Feeling really good about it. I want to just add another snapdragon so I can really, I want the drama. This arrangement has drama to it. So I want the drama of the asymmetry. We are done with our rosé bubbles. What a nice way to enjoy a glass of rosé. Maybe Captain Rehab can make a guest appearance next time we do one of these. Now closing.
thank you so much for watching. It really has been so much fun working with you on doing this flower arrangement. Um, we're going to keep on doing more of these. So keep an eye out on our emails. Check us out on social media. Follow us on social media. And um, we can't wait to see you in the store as well. So come visit us.